definitely started um, with a, a drawing that I did of a tortoise and a rabbit um, stuck in the same shell together. Um, that was definitely, I, I basically had that idea in my head of a tortoise with another animal stuck in there turned into a rabbit because I was thinking they were about the same sort of size. And um, yeah, the story kind of came from that really. And I was trying to figure out why a rabbit would be sharing a tortoise's shell so it was something wrong with his house. Maybe it was he had too much stuff, probably too many carrots, and then it kind of came from that. Also I was reading Wind of the Willows at the time, so I really wanted to bring in that element of having different characters with different houses that sort of match their personality as well. Bird was obviously be up in a high high tree in a little nest and then beavers was going to be obviously on the, on the riverbank and um, yeah that's kind of what informed them and I spent a lot of time looking at beaver YouTube videos. If anyone's got into their time you should do that because they're really funny. <laughs> They've got like their own special little model that I was desperate to try and um, draw but obviously uh, Beaver was at the end of the story um, but I, I did try and get a bit of his facial expression in there because they have got brilliant faces. My favourite scene in Too Many Carrots is um, I like I like different spreads in the book for different reasons but I, I do enjoy this. I've got a real uh, soft spot for Tartus. I, I don't know whether you you notice but throughout the book he's obviously the first character that offers his home to rabbit and um, he kind of gets the raw end of the deal the whole way through it so he, he basically he breaks his shell in the first one in his leg and then he acquires more and more plasters throughout the more, the more um, chaos that happens so um, I quite like this bit he's, he's obviously already got his broken leg and his broken shell and I was trying to figure out how he'd get up in the tree um, and I just thought this would be quite fun. So he's, he's got his walking stick by this point as well, and birds like desperately trying to get him up there. And and again, rabbits just completely oblivious to what's going on. And he's he's just made sure he's got his carrots, and that's it. Um, and I I quite liked um, doing the secrets as well, and getting higher and higher. And obviously, I got the chance to do the the dark bells, which was fun. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a friendship story because of obviously all the different animals and I, I just think it's always relevant and it's it's not, it can't be talked about enough really because it's still relevant even when we get older and I think sometimes you meet people and they've, <laughs> they've forgotten that they've been taught to share. <laughs> not that I'm deprived of a lot of things or anything like that, it's just, um, I, I, I like books where it sort of introduces a topic and it's hopefully done subtly. Um, obviously there's a lot of carrots but um, rabbits done. I mean I, I kind of wanted to make it that he's not he's not a bad person he's just a little bit oblivious really and kind of a bit self-absorbed which I think everyone can be um, and he doesn't mean to be hurting his friends it's just he needs to remember that he should always be sharing and, and and sort of be thinking of others as well, which all of his friends are. I'm so excited. I wasn't expecting it to get published. It was just a, a, a silly idea and I'm always really surprised <laughs> when it gets taken. Um, and everyone's so excited at, um, in the, at the publishers and so behind it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for people to just read, read it and yeah, I hope they enjoy it. <laughs>